Hey, what's up, y'all? Listen, um, a few years ago, I got a chance to sit down with Robert Kiyosaki. He gave some really good information on uh, his perspective on network marketing. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, my primary business is in network marketing. Yes, I'm a fitness enthusiast. Yes, I own multiple businesses, but primarily it's network marketing. So I want to give you guys um, some information, but I didn't record it. I didn't record the conversation, but I did find an interview online that a gentleman by the name of Evan Carmichael, he kind of pulled from different um, other interviews and uh, it was very good. So I want you to check this out and this should help you understand some things that you may not understand about network marketing from none other than world-renowned author of the Rich Dad Poor Dad book, Robert Kiyosaki. That network marketing is the business of the 21st century. Mentor me, Robert. So let me tell you why I endorse network marketing or why I call it the power of it. The reason for it is, as, a, as an entrepreneur, this word here, network marketing, is the key to making a lot of money to being successful. It's only those people who have an employee mentality working for a paycheck or like a specialist or a small business guy who just wants it for themselves. They don't understand the power of network marketing. Now, let me give you, this is not just for the network marketing industry. You know, when you talk about television stations, they talk about a television network. That's how big people think. They think in terms of networks. When you talk about radio, they talk about a radio network. And the same thing, my friend owns a series of gas stations. He calls it a network of gas stations. So the rich use the term network a lot. And I know one of the reasons when I started in endorsed network marketing is because in many circles it has a negative connotation. And that's because a lot of times people who shouldn't be in the business join the business or also people abuse the business. But the reason I endorse network marketing is for people who really want to get out of the rat race and really want to get on with you know, building a business by helping other people build their businesses. So that's why I endorse network marketing. The other reason I endorse it is because network marketing will give you the sales skills or the communication skills or the self-esteem and the emotional courage to go and knock on doors and talk to other people. If you don't have that courage or you're more afraid of what somebody else thinks of you, you'll probably never be successful at network marketing, but you'll probably never be successful in business anyway. So I love network marketing because network marketing will take an average person like me or John and actually work with you and build you up so you have the personal courage to take the no's, to take the rejection, to not really care what, I mean, you do care, but what other people think of you. You see, the reason people are not successful is they want to follow the herd and do what everybody else does. And 90% of the people on this earth when it comes to money are financial losers. So if you're going to become successful, you cannot care what the thundering herd does. You've really got to break away. My rich dad called it the 90 10 rule. That meant 10% of the people make 90% of the money and 90% of the people make 10% of the money. So the, the beauty of network marketing, there's no guarantees, but it gives you the opportunity to be in that 10%. And the way you get in that 10% is to find that person inside of you who cares more of what you think about yourself than you care what other people think of you. So the beauty of network marketing is it gives people the courage, the sales skills, the communication skills to be a leader. And that's what it takes to be successful in the world, is to be a leader. As an entrepreneur, I have built many businesses from scratch. And as some of you know, a lot of them crashed also. Statistics show that most new businesses fail within the first five years, 90% in fact. And of the 10% that survive, the, the re remaining 10% crash in the second five years. So in other words, most are gone in 10 years. So I've looked at many different models, and one that stands out for me is network marketing. And the reason for that, it takes very little upfront cash. It's low overhead. It, you can do it part-time. It means keep your daytime job, but do this part-time. And once the business is up and running, it can generate enough income so that you can move from the left side to the right side of the quadrant. So let me tell you about my introduction to network marketing because I had a very closed mind to it. Since I can build my own businesses, I said, why do I need a network marketing business? But about 15 years ago, I have a good friend, his name is Bill, 
And this guy is the best real estate investor I know. He has tons of assets in here. So I said, Bill, why did you start a network marketing business? And his, simple, his answer was very simple. He says, it's my way of helping people. But more importantly, he says, the reason most people can't invest in real estate is because they don't have a business. They don't make enough money simply because taxes, debt, inflation, and retirement savings are killing them. They cannot even invest. So my friend Bill, who was a professional real estate entrepreneur, he says, I started a network marketing business so the people that worked with me could start their own business and then invest money with him. So with that, I realized then that network marketing wasn't about making money, but it was about helping people to help other people make money so they become financially free. So the beauty of network marketing, I said, like it's very low entry point, doesn't take much money, you can do it part time. And where you profit is in most big corporations is they spend millions, sometimes billions of dollars in advertising. So rather than give that money to advertisers, network marketing depends on building a network it's called word of mouth, like you recommend a movie to a best friend. So really, the reason I support network marketing, because it's not about selling. It's about people helping people build assets in the asset columns, becoming business owners, and then becoming investors, rather than going through all of this here, which most E's and S's go through. In this section, I want to talk to you about a different kind of quadrant. Years ago, I found out there was four kinds of people in the world. You know, one type are people who must be right. These people know all the right answers. They went to school, they know everything. You can't tell them anything. This is not a good business for them because their minds are too set. Another kind of person is a person who must be comfortable. You know, the house could be on fire, but they're still watching TV, you know, eating a hot dog, watching what's going on in the world. These people are toast. Because the world economy is not coming back, the world economy has moved on. And people who need to be comfortable will probably be left behind. So the people who, might, who need to be comfortable, you probably shouldn't talk to them because you only make them uncomfortable. And they're probably not going to make the move because number one priority is being comfortable. Another kind of person is a person who must be liked. You know, they want to please everybody. This is probably not the business for them either, you know, because they want somebody else's approval. They want to be the good little boy or girl saying, I did the right thing, didn't I? You like me, don't you? And so they don't not, they'll probably not be successful in the 21st century because they'll probably want to be liked by people who have to be right and people who want to be comfortable. All right, good, be comfortable. All right, you're very right, you know, that's probably being liked. But the business for the people of the 21st century are people who must win. And that's where I am at. One of the best things I was taught in the Marine Corps and at military school is not how many times you get knocked down, it's how many times you stand up. When somebody knocks you back, what do you do? Oh, 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 you hurt my feelings? You'll probably not be successful. The world will probably pass you by. Because as I said, the world economy is moved on. It's not coming back. So winners will win. But winning takes sacrifice. Success takes sacrifice. And these are the people who will do best in business of the 21st century. So when you're talking to people you know, about this business, you have to look at them and ask yourself, is this person really just going to be liked and they'll tell you what you want to hear? Or they're going to argue with you because they know all the right answers? Or they're going to, or they're going to get very upset with you for disturbing them? So what you're looking for in the network marketing business are people who want to win. People who know the economy has moved on. You'll find every race, gender, age, and background in network marketing. But what they really want to do is they want to win. It really is a true playing field in the world, but not for these people. These people will left behind. Network marketing is for people who want to win because network marketing is the business model of the future. If you want the government to take care of you, then just keep doing what you want to do. It is possible for everyone to win, but the problem is you've got to commit to it. You've got to say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to dedicate five years of my life. You want to look at the leaders and say, those are the people I want to be like. Those are the kinds of people I want to hang out with. That's what you've got to say to yourself. Well, as we know, there's fewer and fewer jobs. You know, American corporations say they're hiring, but they're not hiring in America. They're hiring overseas. But more than that is that the reason I endorse network marketing is most people are addicted to the paycheck. 
And the paycheck is one of the most sinister plots ever pulled upon a human being. If you need a paycheck, you've sold your soul. You know, you sold your body, your mind, your spirit, and your emotions. You sit there in fear of losing your job, or can I get a raise, or you know, will I get promoted? I mean, and then, and then, why would you do that? Another thing about the reason we, we endorse network marketing, we don't think of it as a network marketing, we think of it as entrepreneur development. Because if you need a paycheck, this is not your business. You know, we build businesses. So sometimes when Kim and I do a deal, we, we may not receive a paycheck for five, six years. You know, and so these guys come, oh, well, am I gonna get rich quick? You know, and some people do, I don't know if you do or not, but that is an employee, get rich, loser mindset. And so the thing that network marketing does is really kind of cure you of that loser paycheck, get rich quick mentality and actually build a business. You know, we build businesses. But, and that's how we're rich, but we didn't get rich quick, and I don't need a paycheck, and I never want a paycheck. So that's kind of a revolutionary thought to most people up there who went to school to get good grades and get a job. You know, they get a high paying job, and the, the higher paying job, you, you pay higher taxes. And you wonder why you never get ahead. That's because you went to school to get a job and a paycheck. You've got to get away from the paycheck and sometimes it might take two, three years to get away from that. And that's what network marketing teaches people. It's an entrepreneur's mindset, it's an entrepreneur's spirit, not a loser employee, I need a paycheck mentality. Mm -hmm.